We set out a vision. We executed on that vision, and we produced historic results. And the people of this state have responded in record fashion. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis takes a second term in a big way, winning in a landslide over former Governor Charlie Crist. ABC News calling that race just right at 8 o'clock as the final polls closed in the state. Here is a look at the results. Governor DeSantis outperformed Democrat Charlie Crist in a number of areas where Florida Democrats have typically won, including Palm Beach County and Miami-Dade County. I'm a happy man and I am at peace and uh, I'm grateful to all of you and I just wish you all the very best. Charlie Crist spoke a short time after the race was called. He congratulated Ron DeSantis and says he feels blessed to have served Florida for so long. In the race for U.S. Senate, Florida voters have elected Marco Rubio to a third term. Here's a look at the results as Rubio defeated Congresswoman Val Demings. Reporter Andrew Rozier joins us live from Miami, where Senator Rubio is celebrating a very big win for a third term tonight. Angela? That's right. As a matter of fact, some of the early voting polls show the um, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio and his challenger, Val Demings, pretty close. But after the polls closed today, Rubio's lead soared and the senior Florida senator declared the winner. Now, when Rubio arrived here in his uh, ballroom to give his victory speech, he was greeted with cheers and hugs from his supporters as he walked across that stage. He told his supporters it was great to be in the red county of Miami-Dade. Now, there was also a placard across that podium where he stood Tuesday. It stated, getting things done. Rubio's victory speech not only embodied that theme, but he flat out told everyone how he got here and how he says politics isn't complicated. They want to be able to have a job that pays a decent wage. They want to be able to live in a home that they own, in a neighborhood that is safe. They want their kids to go to schools that teach truth. They want to be able to retire with dignity, and they want all four of their kids to have a life better than the life they've had. This is not complicated. This is what they want. And he also says the people who make this country great have been forgotten and they have been left behind. He also says when we wake up tomorrow morning, he says that there is going to be a new Republican majority in the United States Senate. Todd. It's Angela Rozier live in Miami. Angela, thank you. Congresswoman Val Demings tonight said in her concession speech she accepts the will of Florida voters in sending Marco Rubio back to the U.S. Senate. Reporter Christina Watkins from our sister station in Orlando has more on her concession speech. Congresswoman Val Demings was in pretty good spirits despite the outcome of this race. She brought out her entire family to the stage right behind me here at the Rosen Center in Orlando, and she thanked them for all their support over the last 17 months during her campaign. After that, she officially gave her concession speech, and she started off by saying she did call Senator Marco Rubio to congratulate him on what she described as a spirited race. She said while they didn't get the results they wanted, she says the fight is not over and she is not tired. Deming said there are dreams still alive and she will continue to fight for that for all people. What we stand for as a country, the efforts to divine us along racial lines, along gender lines, some of the ridiculous, crazy things that were said during the race involving the LGBTQ plus community, that's not who we are. And so I need to stay in that fight. I need to keep my voice in that fight and I can probably do it even more effectively not being in elected office. After greeting the crowd of supporters and of course taking a few pictures, Deming spoke to the media off to the side about what she plans to do next. First, she says she's going to Disney World. In fact, she used that light moment to talk about how you should celebrate whether you win or you lose. She says going forward, she hopes elected leaders will come together, put aside their political differences for the American people. Reporting from Orlando at the Rosen Center, Christina Watkins, back to you. Our thanks to Christina tonight. Also up for grabs, every seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. Here is a look at the results of local races. In the 20th district race, Democratic Representative Sheila Sherfilis McCormick won against Republican Drew Montez Clark with more than 72% of the vote. Republican Congressman Brian Mast wins the 21st district race with over 63% of the vote. In the 22nd district, Democratic Congresswoman Lois Frankel 
beats Republican candidate Dan Fries, Francis with 55% of the vote. And in the 8th district race, covering parts of Indian River and Brevard counties, Republican incumbent Bill Posey defeats Joanne Terry with over 65% of the vote. And votes also right now continue to be counted at the Palm Beach County Tabulation Center. Ari Haidt joins us live from Riviera Beach to tell us how everything is going there tonight. Ari? The things here at the Tabulation Center are getting a little quieter right now. You can see these folks behind me. They're still working on those votes that came in by mail, but every single precinct in the county has reported and every vote has been counted and they were all counted by 10 p.m. And the folks here are telling me that that's pretty much the earliest they can ever possibly remember this all being completed. And I spoke to the supervisor of elections, Wendy Sartori Link, earlier tonight, and she tells me pretty much the entire day was like that. Everything went about as smoothly as could possibly be hoped. There were no no issues at any of the polling places. Sartori Link says the only negative she can find was the turnout, which finished at around 53%. Really wanted there to be more, <laughs> but what we were hearing is people just weren't excited about the big ticket races and didn't think they were going to be close. So whether they were right or not, you know, it's just that's that was the feeling that we were hearing. And for comparison, the voter turnout in 2018 was a closer to 60 percent. As for what happens next, they still have to count the military and overseas ballots. But the truth is here, not a whole lot of close races tonight in Palm Beach County. But Sartori Ling tells me she guarantees, she promises every vote will still be counted. Reporting live at the Tabulation Center, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.